So this year, we are focusing on the Meraki APIs, which are kind of the most robust and most comprehensive all across the portfolio, cloud-based, that's really amazing. So we have uh, um, just some questions about what's the real value of you know, the Meraki APIs? Yeah, so you know, Meraki for the longest time was really focused just on the dashboard. And as the use cases got more complex, uh, we pivoted to an API first strategy about two years ago, and it's absolutely blown up. Uh, right now, there are about 30 million API calls daily from our customers and our partners. But where we see this really resonate is with our biggest customers. Uh, Q4 of last year, uh, we know that 70% of our million dollar wins were all influenced by APIs. In fact, uh, Kuhn, I think there was only Amir. Well, there was a, a really big win indeed, Mike, in Amir with a, a, a very famous uh, food retailer. Can't name them, but we've all had some of their food at one point <laughs> or another. Um, and actually what was the deciding factor for them was not just the completeness of the Meraki stack, but the programmability aspect. And the deal really came about when we did a hackathon jointly with them and we showed them the flexibility and the increased relevance that programmability can bring. So that pulled them over the line. Um, that's an, an example of a very big customer. We have uh, examples of tiny customers doing the same thing. Uh, we have this cloud-based uh, our partner that only sells cloud-based solutions in Belgium. Um, they've teamed with the CRM company called Team Leader. And actually when they have uh, somebody joining their company and uh, launch on the guest Wi-Fi, they get a redirect to the splash page and then fill in some data which through backend APIs are fed into CRM database and there's action and marketing campaigns taken through that. So, and that, that team leader CRM solution, they have it on their marketplace in a freemium model and they have 10,000 customers, SMB customers across Emir. So now there's that link with Meraki in this case, it just opens up another you know, whole set of potential uh, conversations we can go and have with those types of customers. But, you know, we're not just doing it in Meraki, right, Mandy? We're doing it across our portfolio. Yes, you know, across Cisco's whole portfolio, APIs are now available and up and down the stack, from controllers to devices at all levels. And we're seeing the, the DevNet community really grow and respond to that, and you know, finding the different use cases in each vertical, in each area that really deliver a lot of value based on the APIs. And that's one of the reasons that we came out with the new DevNet certifications, which um, do cover automation skills across all of our different portfolio pieces. So data center, enterprise, WebEx, IoT, there's particular certifications you can do across all of those. So we've seen a lot of interest. Those are going to be available on February 24th, so people can actually start taking the exams. You can already sign up to take the exams right now, and there's a whole set of courses releasing it as, um, along with those. And that's part of us seeing APIs becoming you know, available everywhere in Cisco and really core to a lot of the Cisco products. And then the community is there, right? So we have code exchange and automation exchange and people contributing code and really active communities around the world, especially here in EMEAR. We have uh, something called the EMER Programmability Center of Excellence, which is um, kind of uh, the idea of a community of people that maybe previously they were doing amazing stuff, but maybe in isolation, and now they are you know, getting all of them together so that they can share and learn from others. So you bring one to the community, you receive a hundred. And this approach works very well when you want to create the right set of capabilities in the community so that they can address and boost customer engagements led by programmability, automation, DevOps, net DevOps. So that's a fantastic best practice that we are seeing here that is really successful. And in just one year, we just got to the amazing number of more than 300 people, engineers from Cisco, really delivering value and sharing what they are doing with the community. You've been a fantastic instigator and you know orchestrator of that community, and you said over 300. We have about 1,100 um, system engineers across Emir, including Meraki, GSSO, just in every aspect of the business, um, and that sort of lands us at a quarter uh, of the team. Now I know we have a little bet going on between the SE leads. Is like what's the right percentage at what point in time? So I think you guys started with 20%, Mike, and then Eric Nip took it to 30. We're already at 30. I want to take it to 50 actually, and see how we can drive that up because. 
because you know there is tremendous engagement across that programmability uh, center of excellence, but there's a lot of people who are still sort of you know not quite sure, maybe holding back. We really just want to encourage everybody to dive in. So if you haven't gotten started yet, go to developer.cisco.com slash start now. Um, very easy start to it. it you, know, you roll right into it. And then for the people who are already engaged, just you know, the call us, keep doing it. Uh, we're going to really, uh, we're, we're changing the game here. And uh, you know, it's really how business value and, and technology comes together uh, with unique relevance through programmability. So. Don't be left behind. <laughs> <laughs>